everyone, Aaron here, and today I have two of the best things in the world, uh, that would be coloring pencils and phones, huh, everyone loves coloring pencils, okay, maybe crayons, but enough of that, on to the phone, here I am doing the review for the Nokia Surge, um, what model phone is this, I wonder, there's, there's some model number, um, I don't know. I would put a link in it, but or like a like a little thingy McFang thing, but I'm just too lazy for that. But anyway, here is the Nokia Surge, and uh, this phone I've had. Uh, I've liked it since I had it. Keyboard on it. You have a nice four-row keyboard. Uh, the keyboard. It's definitely not my favorite out of mm, phones. It just seems like it's a little almost too spaced, and. Uh, that they're offset to the left a little bit but I mean I quickly got used to it it was no big problem at all uh, so uh, Symbian S class operating system on here if you hit the end button brings up a menu with your options of switch off and then it has all your profiles you can customize each one lock phone remove memory card or go offline uh, then to get into your menu, you hit the center button right there. You are greeted with a GPS messaging, yellow pages, media note, address book, I am an email, at and music, media mall, games and app, my stuff, tools, <gasps> settings. So, uh, neat thing about this phone, which, uh, it's a love-hate relationship. Whenever it's closed, you can turn it left or right. I mean, up or left, up or left can't turn it oh no you can't turn it right but uh that is kind of neat but it did kind of annoy me whenever i went to type i really wish there would be like a on-screen keyboard or something or like you could slide it up it just erged me having to slide it open to do this but then again i'm just i don't know i'm just not into this phone that whole much uh it's a nice phone, but I just prefer something different like a BlackBerry 8900. Uh, whenever it is like in a vertical, vertical or landscape, vertical mode, it is like that with that weird clock. Whenever it's in landscape, it will show you the actual time. So that kind of bugs me because you can't really read that. It, I mean, you can, it's just hard sometimes, so I always have to like slide it open or something and then it takes a minute to switch. But you have a few different uh, home screen options. This one has calendar and then shortcuts like new messaging, I am, my stuff, seller video, GPS, music player. Uh, and then it has your calendar options right there. There's just a few of mine. Uh, which, yeah, that the, those didn't really happen. But going into the menu again, in your messaging, it is, hang on, let me, uh, well, once you hit messaging, you are greeted with messages or voicemail. Going into messages, you have new in, new message inbox, uh, your email account, new mailbox, folders, drafts, uh, outbox, reports. I don't even know what reports are. Uh, hang on just a second. And something that bugs the crap out of me, this phone doesn't have conversation style, which I was promised by the guy at AT&T. Oh, it's a smartphone. It would. Huh, <laughs> it doesn't. So, create a new message. Uh, go ahead and send it to, like, five 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 zero one nine five. We'll see how that works. Okay. Uh, the quick brown fox jump over the lazy sheepish dog okay um on this keyboard you can't really type fast or things like seep happen fuck or or the lazy sep dog now if you actually take your time we'll see how it works the quick brown fox jump over the lazy sheep. Am I even doing this sentence right? I don't know if I am. Um, okay, so there we go. It will now be the first one. 
lazy I messed up and that is the only one I messed up on though. Uh, also another boo about this phone is you can't double space for period which really irks me. I'm used to that. Uh, go ahead and delete that. Sorry you can't even tell what's on the screen right now. Go ahead and exit back um, address book. You have a ton of different options um, for this. Not really when they're on the SIM card but still um, let's go ahead into like customer bill balance. Go ahead and smack down options. Uh, edit. Uh, telephone, email, mobile, company, job titles, and synchronization. Okay, so you don't really have that many options at all, but you can add detail. Uh, you can add all that good goodiness right there. Touch tones. Ooh, I don't, I don't even know what that is. Assistance. That's pretty fancy right there. So yeah, you can add like tons of crap, like Blackberry Windows Mobile crap right there. But this is the Symbian crap. Hoo hoo. So anyway, uh, there is psh, those things on here. Uh, a couple of the settings. Uh, if you just go to configure it will take you through this nice menu you have general then all your info there phone connection applications all that good stuff right up in there tools you have recent calls notes clock camera recorder calculator real player which is like your videos calendar uh, converter to message reader which is kind of neat but irks me um, Adobe PDF viewer I believe uh, quick office about help and setup wizard uh, psh, 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 the camera on this uh, it bumps in your pocket a lot or you like push it getting it in there or something uh, so that's why I have it whenever you slide it shut the keypad locks because if it's not like that me we're always gonna be taking some pocket pictures uh, let's go ahead and take a picture of the TV uh, you can't push down a little bit to focus and the pictures on here they turn out okay on the phone I haven't put any on the computer or printed any so I don't know how they really do turn out but um, it's I don't even know I think it's a 2 or 3.2 megapixel camera somewhere around then I don't know the box is on the other side of the room um, but anyway uh, camera button is right there try and macro mode this um, oh camera uh, so Camera button is right there. Volume toggle, you're gonna have to believe me, is right there. Up top, you have your chrome bezel, just hogging all the light, your two and a half millimeter jack, your speakers, uh, your flap for your Nokia proprietary little stick charging port. And on here, you have your data sync port, uh, which is uh, mini or micro? Uh, micro USB, I do believe. And on the bottom, you have your battery. Which isn't that hard to get off, but uh, you do struggle with it occasionally. So there is a quick little overview of the Nokia Surge uh, comment or whatever if you have any questions about it. Uh, overall, out of 10, I would give this phone maybe like a 7.5, 6 and a 3 quarters ish possibly. Uh, so yeah, I would say if you're looking for a smartphone good for messaging and you want it cheaper, uh, this would probably be a good way to go. I believe it's about $30 on contract. We did it adding a line. Uh, so, you know, not a bad deal there. But if you want a more high-end phone, more bang for your buck, definitely like the BlackBerry 8900. Something along the lines like that. But then again, that is $200. So, uh, just a little bit to think about. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe.